energy. Today we're going to go in and see what everybody's up to. We're also going to go throughout the week, so it won't just be just in one day. So this episode will be everything that has happened this week at Bath & Garage. Uh, if you want to head over to our website or give us a call, a lot of the products that we have, we've been getting some questions about stuff that people use. We are dealers for most of the products that we use. So if you wanted to purchase any of those items, you can give us a call or head over to Fat Fender Garage. We also have t-shirts, merch, all that kind of stuff. So head over there if you want to get help from there. All right, Fat Fender fans. We're here in the 65, just checking codes, trying to clear everything right now. Pro pressure is good. We have good signal wire. We'll just make sure everything's ready to start it right now. So clear all this stuff and hopefully start first try. Pretty awesome. It's a good feeling. It's not calibrated yet, but it's pretty nice. It does it. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. How you doing, Dan? We haven't featured you in like two episodes, so I wanted to come see what you're doing. Well, I am getting the front end here, course to course situated, lined up, going on to the hood, and basically lining up the whole front end to the rest of the cab, the doors, and all that kind of good stuff. Did you get closer with the hood, or did you have to take this off? That was kind of giving me a little problems, but ain't nothing we can't fix. And I got these aftermarket hood hinges installed, so. Right now they're just tack, tack welded in place so that way I could make sure that they're in the right location before I actually do the final welding on them. And then, um, and then we'll be good to go. It goes up and down smooth. Yeah, it does. It does, huh? It goes up and down and then it holds itself up and it's mm. a, nice, a nice little feature. Okay. I wish my money was like that. We're playing with new products here, and we're gonna start. We do uh, some serial coating now. So what it is, it's like a real thin, well, it's like a ceramic coating. But we like to use. Uh, so it's mostly like guns. It, yeah. So we like to use some of this stuff because it's real hot. It's supposed to be like real, uh, real durable. Be able to handle the bangs and stuff like that. And this one here, we're playing with an air dry one because you can come with two variations. You can either bake it or you can let it air dry. So on um, these parts here, we're gonna play with our air drive, our air drive system, and see how that pans out. See what the durability on that. Since they're under the hood, they can take the heat, and if they might get banged up, you know, once in a while, then so we'll see what happens. What's up? It's a bad time. No, it's never a bad time. I'm filling up the differential with fluid in it. Trying to get all the wires ran underneath, tucked up. Oh, very close. Yeah. I just put the padding on the new tranny cover. Okay. So see how much higher it is. Oh. So high, huh? Oh, yeah. We're trying to run all the wires right there, get them all nice and flat so you won't see them once the carpet's on. That's about it right now for me. What we're doing is running all the wires through. So for tomorrow, we're going to do a startup on it. It's going to be tomorrow? Tomorrow, we'll try to fire this motor up. Ooh. Everything running. Got to get in the router, wires routed through for the power side. Fire it up. Oh this thing happened fast. Yeah, it did. That looks so loud. Yeah. Open headers. Sometimes you just gotta let her eat. Oh, are you guys happy? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What is going really good in this truck? Hey. Bunch of guys. Hillbillies. Starting body work on the grill, making the caps nice and tight, dialing in the fit pin. These airlines have such a, we've just caught them at every time. Yeah, the airlines for the 65, these are the main ones that go through the front, the frame rails. 
and then I think they just finished seracoding these. So well, just yep, trying to get all the all the debris out of them, make sure the surface is clean. Probably hit it with like a little 37 diamond blade just to make sure that the angle is correct. So that way it has a nice seat, flush is good, and there's no you don't have to worry about air leaks. So. Every single episode. Every episode has the airlines. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're getting People comment around. on it. No, but they will now. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's all you guys do is airlines. Uh -huh. <laughs> the same oh, one, the that's same one. Thing. You go. Oh, what's up there, Fat Bender fans? New facial hair? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Gotta piss off the fiance. <laughs> so I made this all by hand. So I've gotten the top on the other side done. So now I'm hand making all of that right now. So what I do is I take a piece of tubing on the magnetic brake. Luckily with a magnetic brake, you can put any steel material down and bend it and it'll contour around the radius. But once we get that, so this is my template, so I'm just gonna replicate this onto here. And then I'll set up the bead roller to put this bead die in there. And then I'll hand hammer this radius edge over it. And then, again, come down here and I'll hand I'll hammer it some more so it gets to the shape perfectly and then I'll weld that seam all the way around. So I have to make all of these sections just because I can't fit this large material in the, the brake or the shear. So okay. widen the front fender. It really should be the end of this week that running board should be done and then it's going to be on to the rear diffuser and that's going to look really good if you guys okay. like that. Thanks. Thank you. So, what are you doing my friend? Hmm? What are you doing? Well, I'm kind of cleaning up the mess I've made. Why'd uh, you make a mess? A Vaporworks fuel system install. Oh. And so now I've got like a mess of stuff. This looks like a Lego. A little Lego accessory. Oh, yeah. It does look like a Lego. Lego that goes in the back of here. Adult Legos? Wait, this is too much fun. <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it is absolutely. That's for sure. Um, what I'll end up doing is uh, assembling it all into a little plug like that one. And then the other end of it is in the truck, and it plugs in. Wow! So making that's it what nice they mean and easy. When they say plug and play, right? Does this thing go up on its own? Yes, but currently it is under construction, work in progress. <laughs> Someday. It's cute. It's like yeah. so fifty. Very fifty. Nice leather seats, door panels. All us. Very classic and simple in here. This is the original one too, I think. Right? Oh, seriously? Yeah. This was like coffee. It does. So this is one of the airlines I took out. Okay. Um, the issue with a lot of airlines is when they go into like the fittings over here, they have a lot of tension right off the bat because these aren't formed. Okay. So it's just pulling it down and then they seal on the tops of here. So when you're already coming in at an angle, you're already losing air and airbags all the time have leaks everywhere. So what I'm doing here is take your line, put a piece of tube in it or a welding rod, and then you can kind of bend it how you want it. Then you take your heat gun. Don't use like a butane torch. These will just melt it. So you use a heat gun and just slowly kind of let it form it itself. And then when you're done, you just pull the rod out and then your uh, your hose is shaped. Right. A little bit of a tip that most people don't know that it really does help out. Okay, so you guys really like that we had a new tool that we unboxed or, un or opened or whatever last week. So we actually got another one. This one is Trevor's, so let's go see um, what we got. What do we got here? Oh, hey guys. You might want to cut this out for like liability reasons. <laughs> what we have here is a new big rep Studio G2 large format 3D printer. Jason came in my office one day and was like, Trevor, look, um, product development is not moving along at the speed I'd like it to. So this thing came with some really nice doors on it, but I was like, I don't wanna have to open a door every single time I go to 3D print something. Right. So I just decided to put a fat hole in it. <laughs> I mean, it's like a drive through window. If you just put stuff in and out without having to like, open it up and lose all that time in transition. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm pretty good at making parts and also breaking expensive things. So all jokes aside, we got this thing in, we were super excited to have it and we uncrated it and unfortunately it was damaged in shipping. I'm sure we'll get it sorted out and we'll be up and running with it, but let's take a look at it. So, yeah. <laughs> um, 
super nice machine. This thing is huge. It's just like any other 3D printer that's available right now, which is really cool about it um, because we have those two up front that we currently use. And this is very similar to those, just big. So you've got a massive build plate, tons of vertical build volume where we'll be able to do a lot of really cool new custom things like dash pads, center consoles, um, all sorts of cool trim pieces for inside of engine bays or really anywhere. The possibilities of this thing are endless, so that, I'm very excited about it. Control areas are all touch screen with USB inputs. Oh, wow. This is where you'll store your material. So your rolls of 3D printer material go on there and they can roll on those little rollers. <laughs> um, and they're stored in a temperature controlled space where you don't get as much um, absorption of water. Because sometimes these thermoplastics, when they sit, they suck in water and they don't perform as well when they come out of the heated nozzle. We have the other side of the machine. I just barely started unboxing this, so I don't know what everything is. But How much was this thing? This is just stuck. Too much. <laughs> but yeah, we are firm believers in kind of futuristic thinking and new ways of making things. and. We firmly believe that 3D printing is a massive step in the custom automotive industry. I think this is gonna be really cool. Make a lot of really nice things for you guys to buy. Thank you guys for watching episode five of Shop Talk at Fat Printer Garage. We just came in here to take a look at the end of the Cerakote with the finished product. So we'll have more of that. This stuff is all going to be um, Cerakoted as well. So we'll have more to show you in episodes to come. But thank you for watching, like, comment, subscribe, do all that stuff, really helps us out. We appreciate you and see you next week. Blood, sweat, and tears. <laughs> Go like this and just be like. Uh, no, no, no. Just poke your butt out. No, just be <laughs> no. Like, comment, subscribe.